Hey YouTube, Sergeant Fit here, back with another video. Some of you guys have been leaving comments on some of my videos asking, Sergeant Fit, what do you eat during the course of, of a day? I haven't seen those comments. Uh, they're there. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, you think I'm making that up? I mean, I check all the time. They're there. Sit. Stop checking on my videos. They're there. What do you eat during the course of a normal day? That's what they're asking. And I'm going to show you today, I'm going to make a sandwich. Good old classic sandwich. And what I'm... Why are you laughing? You act like people don't know what sandwiches are. All right. You know, quick story. Quick joke. Not joke. Quick quiz for you. If you're out in the desert and there's absolutely no food, how do you survive? I don't know. You drink your own pee? No. You eat the sandwich is there. The sand that, that which was, is there. That was bad. Okay, survival tip. All right, so what we're going to do is make a sandwich today out of field roast del deli slices. Yes. Because as a pescatarian, I do not eat meat except for fish. And every once in a while, you're just in the mood for a deli sandwich. And I've been using, over the past years, soy slices. Okay? Unfortunately... I started crying watching some of my action movies, getting very emotional, got really weird. That's when I found out that when you eat too much soy, it mimics estrogen and turns you female. So... It doesn't turn you female. Yeah, it does. That's not I, a thing. I read that somewhere. It is a thing. Why else would I be crying in action movies? And ever since I got off the soy, now I enjoy the action movies just the way they should be. Action. Yeah! So anyways, this stuff here we're going to try today. And we're going to use Udi's gluten-free bread. I don't eat regular bread. This stuff is grain-free. And I believe it's uh, made with rice flour. But we're going to put the macros and the ingredients somewhere on the screen here. And I always like my bread toasted. So we're going to pop the... I'm making two sandwiches. One for me and one for the voice behind the camera. You never get that right. Because... Get what right? Just say a, the person there. All right, my producer. And no, the person the there. The person there. And she's hangry today. <laughs> so she's been dying for something to eat, so i got to hurry up. I'm going to pop these bad babies in the toaster and toast them up. Meanwhile, I'm going to mix something to, to give it a little moisture, and I'm using Frabinase. This is organic. I think it's vegan mayonnaise. Can you see that? You don't have that continually asked. All right, I want to make sure. So I'm going to put a little bit of this in my tub. What what measurement system are you using? I'm not, because if I make extra, I'm just going to put it in the refrigerator. That's all. Well, and is it is it two parts mayonnaise to one part wasabi? I mean, you have to have... I don't measure. It's instinctive. I let... It's the force. The force tells me how much. But I like it a little spicy, so I'm putting wasabi powder in, in it. And I just put it in there till a uh, couple of shakes. That's it. Okay? Couple of shakes. That's an exact measurement, I swear. And then we mix it up. I usually go by the color. Of course, the greener it is, the stronger it is. And then I just take a little taste to make sure it's the way I want the lighting. Here's not good. Do not put that spoon back in that bowl. Oh yeah, that's good. All right. Oh, that is really good. Now we're toasting there? Yeah. All right, we're also gonna add some baby spinach, organic baby spinach, uh, Romano or Italian tomatoes. I prefer these over the regular tomatoes because one, believe it or not, they're cheaper, and two, they hold up better. They don't go as soft and squishy as quickly, okay? And we're going to add some non-smoked provolone cheese on this. Is it provolone or provolone? Provolone. How is it spelled? Huh? I don't know how it's spelled. Do I act like an English teacher? Okay. No, so you don't. I know I don't. Field roast, we're going to put the ingredients and the macros up on the screen so we don't have to bore you by reading them. Let's see if I can get this open. I 
All right, look at that. Let's smell it. it smells like lunch meat. It smells I like lunch meat. I doubt that. Smell that. I doubt it smells like actual lunch meat. Well, I'm just guessing because I haven't had lunch meat in such a long time. I probably don't even remember what it smells like. That, no. No? What's it smell like? Like minced dog food. Oh, really? My favorite. Okay. Yeah, it kind of does smell like minced dog food. No, it doesn't. How are we doing on this bread? How do you like... Oh, this is perfect. The toaster wasn't even done yet. That's perfect. No, the toaster is set too high. You've been messing around with the dials. All right, so we're going to spread. You want yours on both sides or one side? Y yeah, oh, see, it, it was almost ready. The force told me it was ready. Do you want do you want it on one side or both sides? I don't really care. I like mine I don't, on both I sides. I really don't think it makes a difference. Did I just spill some? Yeah. You don't make a difference? In what respect? I mean, what is it? How will it change the sandwich by putting it on both sides of the bread versus one? I would side? like you to notice something here because you were mocking me on my measurements. Look at that. No leftover. I wasn't mocking you on your measurements, but you're telling people you're making a sandwich and not telling them exactly how you're making the sandwich. Well, that's, you know what? Anything you feel that they need to know, just put it up on the screen or put it in the comment section. Oh, I will. That way we can keep this video short. Also, make sure you put the total macros up there for the sandwich. Okay. Now, I always put my meat down first. <laughs> That's how that didn't sound right. How many slices do you want? Choose two slices of minced dog meat is fine with me okay and i stagger it for even coverage all right i'm hurrying i know you said you're sitting there hurrying okay there it is all right uh the cheese next right there in the middle i'm gonna break mine up because i don't like it hanging over the bread do you mind if yours hang over the bread yeah i like it hanging over the you do yeah all right that's yours. okay spinach as Popeye says, this stuff is good for you. Is that enough? Yeah. Okay. Should I measure this out also? No comment? Nothing to say. All right. Move this over here. And tomatoes. You like yours thick or thin? much preference in how a sandwich is made. As long as it tastes good, that's fine with me. Whatever it, how it's layered, how the vegetables are cut, I don't really care. I'm trying really hard not to cut my, my hand on this. There you go. Is that enough tomato or you want more? That's fine. Okay. And put the top on. How would you like yours cut? Diagonally. Diagonally. You want some chips with that? Sure. Presentation is important. That one's yours right there. Don't forget. How could I forget with the cheese hanging off the side? Right. And of course, Dieta grain free tortilla chips nacho flavor. We reviewed this a little while ago. And, ooh, these chips are so good. And we're going to take one serving. How many chips in the serving? Uh, nine chips. One, two, Three, four, five. <laughs> no, that's enough because I don't want you touching Six. every single one right. before it goes in my mouth. I washed my hands. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm only going to go with six. 
I'm going to put an extra one because you don't count your macros anyway. All right. There we go. This is lunch right there. And we're going to taste this and review this before we bite into the sandwich. Let me, here's, here's one. Uh, down here. I'm giving it to you. Oh, I'm supposed to taste it? Yes, along with me. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. One, two, three, going in. Mmm. Well, I'll tell you right off, it doesn't taste like any lunch meat that you can put your finger on. I'll tell you what it tastes like. All right, what's it taste like? Like old turkey. Old turkey meat? It has the texture of turkey deli meat. Like the oh, one that you would go up to the counter and say, can I have like a pound of turkey? That It has that texture. Medium slice. It's not thin, so it's medium slice. Yo, what does that matter? It matters a lot. A lot of people like their lunch meat thinly sliced. It's not terrible. It doesn't, it smells like minced dog meat. It doesn't taste like minced dog meat. They don't really meat. give you a lot in the package. All right, now let's taste the sandwich. Grab your plate. Uh, let's see what it tastes like, everything combined. All right, it looks really good. Is that, can you see that? Oh. This is good. This is really good. This tastes like a legit turkey club. Tastes like a turkey club? Exactly like it. Mmm. And the wasabi mayonnaise gives it a nice flavor as opposed to just a regular old mayonnaise. And of course, the chips. Mm. Uh, all right, so that's my sandwich, and um, before I get out of here, I want to give out a couple shout-outs today, a couple of channels that you need to check out. They have really good content. We have uh, Connor Sloan, Bianca Gaines, and The Warrior. Check out these three channels. Did that just turn off? All right, check out these three channels. They're really great. You won't be disappointed. And they have really good content. So, until next time, everybody, Sergeant Fit Out. 601. Sit. Why are you still here? It's over. Click on another video. You know you want to. Or subscribe. I'll see you later. 600.